Hey, Anthony Nitz here. Hey, just a quick little rant I wanted to share with you guys. Um, recently, I had a client that we were writing an offer, and the we submitted the offer, and it was a really good offer. However, the agent on the other side had said, well, we want a copy of the deposit check. And I called him, and I said, well, I, we don't collect a deposit check. Uh, and he said, well, that's standard practice. That's what you're supposed to do on every single transaction. And that's actually not the case. Uh, what it is, in the contract, it says that a deposit will be delivered to escrow within three days of acceptance of the offer. That's that, that's exact wording in there. And he insisted that we had to have a deposit check. Now, there's no real reason why we as agents need to gather a deposit check or even as a buyer that you need to give a deposit check. I'm going to tell you in the old days, that used to be a tactic that we would use is we would collect a deposit check. Well, and actually there was for a couple reasons. One, because the contract did say that we had in our possession a, a deposit check, but also it was a form of commitment. So it was believed that if the buyer wrote a check for $10,000 for a deposit, that they're not going to go anywhere else. They're not going to go work with another agent. Well, my, my contention with that is that if you are a good agent and you've made a good relationship with the client, then you shouldn't have to worry about that, number one. Number two, as a listing agent, if you're requiring people to get a deposit check in order to submit the offer, and I'm telling you this, he didn't even submit the offer as far as I understand, which is actually a breach of his fiduciary responsibility, but we're getting all technical now. Um, uh, if he if he doesn't submit the offer based on that, he is totally doing a disservice to his clients, and they need to really reevaluate what they're doing in this business. You know, as a lawyer, you have to go to school for what is it a minimum of eight years before you can even talk to somebody about their parking tickets. Um, as a doctor, you go to school for twelve years before you even look at a wart. Um, hate to admit it, I have to admit it. Uh, it, you take a three-day crash course and a couple other little uh, courses and stuff and you're a real estate agent um, and you're handling hundreds of thousands of dollars of people's assets so here's what I would say to you I would say if you are thinking about buying or you're thinking about selling make sure you do an interview a good solid interview with the agent that you're going to be working with make sure that they have the experience and I'm going to give you one last tip as I wrap this up. Don't fall for those play on word tricks. Like um, uh, one agent used to do this when he was brand new. He would sit, the people would say, so how long have you been in real estate? And he'd go, oh, oh, it seems like all my life. And most people just buy that. They say, oh, okay, he must have been doing it for a long time if it seems like all his life. And I asked him, because I knew he'd only been in the business for about a month and a half. So how can you tell people all your life? And he said, well, I, when I was born, I lived in a house, and then we moved to an apartment, and then we moved to another house, and then another house. I've been in real estate all my life. Seriously. Okay. So uh, don't fall for that stuff, okay? Hey, I'm Anthony Nitz. If you know about our 60-day guarantee, if you're thinking about buying or, or if you're thinking about selling, and we guarantee that we'll sell your house in 60 days or less. And if we don't, we'll, we won't charge a commission. So uh, go to our website, 60dayguarantee.com, you learn more, or just give me a call, 714-900-2710. Take care.